the law also makes provision for what is considered to be a passenger user, user fee, right? So that will be an addition to the approved um, passenger fare, right? And it's usually, let me say that if, for example, the case of the hokey pokey, where a taxi in um, independence operating within the independence and the placentia era. Uh, their fares at this time, the approved fares at this time is $7.25 um, for adults. So the law is then saying that for such a fare, which is less than $10, then the passenger user fee, which will be collected by the water taxi operator, for and on behalf of the authority will be 25 cents, basically. In the case, as you are mentioning, let's use uh, San Pedro Belize Express. So San Pedro to Kikaka or Kikaka to San Pedro, one way is $25, all right? So then it is saying then that for a fare that is ten dollars but less than a hundred dollars, so they will be charging the passenger uh, twenty-five dollars for one way, right? So they'll have a passenger user fee added, which will be one dollar, right? So that is approved at this time. So the the there are two different things we we put out in the release the the passenger fare, uh, but the law also makes provision and stipulate a passenger user fee, which will be collect, shall be collected for and on behalf of the authority by the water taxi operator. Now, the law also makes provision uh, for the water taxi operator to display in conspicuous place at the terminal and in the vessel, the approved fares. The event that as I had indicated earlier, that the passenger is being charged a fee which should be displayed. And if the displayed fee is like $25, but they are paying $30, then those people can keep a copy of that respective stub and then report that issue to the Belize Port Authority.